Hello, I'm Monica Japuntich, and this is my co-host, Elise Helton. We've got a great show for you, so don't you change that dial. Welcome back to another edition of WCTV. We're glad that everyone survived not only Halloween, but the first nine weeks of the school year. Even though midterms haunted us all and we're in between sports seasons, there's still a lot going on at WCHS. These couple weeks are usually for, referred to as dead time, but not for several students in the building. Keeping busy with the fall play is our own Sally Trueblood. Hmm, what is this for? Why, you silly girl? It's the fall play! Arsenic! And old lace. Hmm, looks pretty good. I think Mrs. Garvey might know a little bit more. The play I decided this year is called Arsenic and Old Lace. And one reason I chose it is because in the past I've had kids actually come up and ask to do this. Community Theater did it a few years back, and it is just the most fun play. It's about two little old ladies who murder men, so it doesn't sound like it'd be fun, but it is very, very funny. The play is November 3rd, 4th, and 5th. I'm pretty sure we're going to be doing this on Sunday afternoon. Um, usually when we have a play, we just do it on Friday and Saturday night, but I think our kids, uh, it's much work as they're putting into it would really like to do it on Sunday also. So now we know a little bit more about the play, but why did these students go out for it? I decided to try out for the play because I like acting and Mrs. Garvey's the coolest. What is your favorite part about being in the play? Just the practices are the best part. My favorite part of the play is hanging out with my friends every night at practice. There's a lot of fun people in the play and while it's a lot of hard work, they always make it fun. You can tell these students have put a lot of hard work into the play, but also had fun doing it. Arsenic and Old Lace sure sounds like it's going to be good. Make sure you come out and see it this weekend, Friday and Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 2, right here at the Prem High Auditorium. I'm Sally Trueblood, reporting for WCTV, and I'll see you here this weekend. Everybody come out and support the WCHS Drama Department and see the play Friday and Saturday night at 7.30 and Sunday at 2 p.m. <laughs> Monica, I don't know what to do. I can't seem to get over this cold. I don't even know where it came from or how I got it. I know, it seems like everyone's getting sick lately. I guess it's just that time of year. Carly sure has some good advice on how to stay healthy during the sniffly season. The leaves are falling, temperatures are dropping, and winter is drawing near. The winter sniffles are just around the corner. Between the cold weather, everyone's busy schedules, and the holiday hustle, it is important to stay healthy during the winter seasons. Dr. Darren Eklund has a scoop on how to keep your body temperature at a steady 98.6. Why is it that everyone seems to get sick during the winter months? Well, there's a couple of reasons for that. The, the most Likely one is just because everybody's in closer proximity, you know, you're stuck in your classroom, you're coughing on each other, you're sneezing on each other, um, you're not able to get outside as much and kind of get the, the airflow around you. So, I mean, that's the primary reason. Um, a couple of other reasons. Uh, one, that the, the drier, cooler air tends to allow viruses and bacteria to live on the surfaces like the doorknobs and on your chairs and your desktops. Um, so it's easier to spread things that way. And then the tissue actually in your nose, the lining of your nose tends to get dried out and allows uh, infection, virus infections, bacterial infections to get into the skin and into the body easier. So those are probably the three primary reasons. What are some things students can do to stay healthy during this season? Well, you know, there's no special vitamin or supplement or mineral you can take for it. It's, it's really kind of corny answer, but it's the same things that your mom told you when you were three or you know, four years old. Make sure that you're covering your mouth when you cough or when you sneeze. You know, use a Kleenex when you're blowing your nose. Um, you know, make sure you're getting plenty of rest, plenty of uh, eating healthy, drinking plenty of fluids. You know, if you are sick, you know, stay home. I'm sure the vice principal doesn't want to hear that, but uh, <laughs> and then uh, you know, talk to your parents about making sure that you're getting your flu vaccines and your meningitis vaccines if you're going to be going to college soon. Uh, all those types of things are things you can do to prevent the infection. Obviously, uh, if you prevent the infection, that's much easier than for us trying to treat it once you've got it. With over 600 other students, school can be the easiest place to catch the latest bout of the sniffles. 
The school nurse definitely has her hands full. What can staff and students here at WCHS do to prevent themselves from getting sick when students come to school sick? Well, the best thing would be is if students didn't come to school sick, um, but I know students do come to school sick. So for people that are here, staff and students, um, try to stay as healthy as they can, get plenty of sleep, uh, drink a lot of water, uh, make sure that they're washing their hands several times a day, especially if they're coughing and sneezing. Um, if you are coughing and sneezing, cough into your sleeve. That's the best thing to do. Uh, so the best thing you can do is keep healthy and stay away from friends uh, if they are sick. Maybe encourage them to stay home if they have a temperature. What are you doing to stay healthy? Wear a coat. I do stay exercises to areas music. Um, I make sure that I wear my hat and mittens every time I go outside. I make and I eat my fudge. Um, I take medicine when I'm sick. To make sure your nose stays dry this season, here are some important tips to remember. Tip number one, always wash your hands frequently, especially after using the bathroom. Hey, can I have a drink? Tip number two, never share things like lip gloss or soda. Number three, remember to stay hydrated during this dry season. Tip number four, always wear appropriate gear outside. from school when you're sick and visit your doctor to get the proper medication. By following these five tips, you can ensure yourself a healthy winter safe from the sniffles. As for me, I'm Carly Tyndall reporting for WCTV and I've got to go to my checkup. Thanks Carly. So my little brother's been outside playing in the leaves lately, but it's been kind of rough because of all those campaign signs in our front yard. I can't wait till they're gone. I know. It seems like campaigning has been going on and on forever. Even though the election is taking place next Tuesday, I wish there was some way I could find out more about the voting process. With more on the election, here's Veronica. It's election time again. Do you know what that means? Some of you might have the opportunity to vote for the first time, and you might need to know what to do. To get registered to vote, one option is to go to www.hamiltoncounty.org, click on the auditor site, scroll to the bottom, click Elections tab, and download a form. Another option is to have come down to the courthouse by October 28th and pick up your own form. There are many candidates running in the 2006 elections. Fortunately, McKinley Bailey, former WCHS student, is here to talk to us about voting on November 7th. We have McKinley Bailey here to talk with us about the 2006 elections. Mr. Bailey, where can you find out more about your campaign? You can uh, visit my website, which is www.baileyforstatehouse.org, and if that doesn't answer your question, then give me a call at home. The phone number is on the webpage. Why do you think it's important for 18-year-olds to vote for their first election? It's really important if they want to have their voice heard, if they want to be, if they want to matter in government. All too often young people are ignored by politicians because they don't vote. So what matters to young people oftentimes gets, let, gets left out of government decision making. I know you served our country in Iraq and you are a former student at WCHS. Did you vote on your first election, and why do you think students hesitate to vote in their first election? Yeah, I absolutely voted the first chance I got, and I try to do it whenever it's possible now. I think that students hesitate to vote because they don't understand just how important it is. The people who get elected this year are going to make the rules and, and the laws that, that govern our lives. They'll decide how much you pay for to go to college when you go there and how fast you drive your car when you're on the highway. There are many responsibilities when turning 18. One being the ability to vote. Are you planning on voting in the 2006 elections? 
Of course. Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I want to, but I'm not registered. Do you do research on your candidates before voting? Yes, I've been watching the commercials and looking at the issues at hand. Yes, I spend all my free time in cafes searching the internet. No. In what way do you think your vote will make a difference? I'm younger and so I think it's important to have my opinion. Uh, I hope my vote makes a difference by being the one needed to win, I guess. Every vote counts. Still having troubles choosing who to vote for? Seeing all the commercials, signs in the yards, and advertisements in the mail? 18 year olds have a tough choice to make on November 7th. I'm not 18 yet, but I know when I turn 18, in two years and 38 days, I'll see you at the voting polls. I'm Veronica Dunley, reporting for WCTV. Well, Veronica, it seems like you're pretty excited about the election. Make sure all of you 18-year-olds register so you can get out there and vote. Don't forget to see the play this weekend. And to all the cast and crew, break a leg. We hope everyone has a fabulous weekend. We'll leave you with some footage of the Fall Chorus Concert. Enjoy. See, see you next week. week.